all right hello good morning good evening and good night i hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic because in today's video we're making a video about zim zim integrated shipping this is a video i have been wanting to make for the past five or six days or so since december 13th when they had amazing run-ups we're talking about 30 percent over the past five days or so with zim now, what we're going to do is I have an article here on Seeking Alpha that I want to mention. It has some really amazing points about Zim, what's going on with potential conflicts and how that's affecting the current shipping price. And the reason why I'm so excited today is because I've been wanting to make a video on Zim and I haven't been able to. Guys, I make a lot of videos and I do not want to waste your time. I wanted to get a sufficient amount of information on Zim and kind of how things might be moving their stock in the future i believe i've done that so in this video today we're going to go over kind of like the conflicts that are going on around israel and how that's driving the shipping container price to go up what zim is doing in terms of their fleet how they're acquiring new ships and we're going to talk a little bit about how that might affect their carrying outcome how it might reduce their costs and make zim profitable in the future and i'm going to show you why i do think it's still a great company i'm not buying i'm just holding my shares but we're going to get into all that in this video so we're talking about zim so if that does sound good please do remember to subscribe we're up to 3692 subscribers growing subscribers every day i'm excited to bring you this video so let's get into it so zim is currently sitting at about ten dollars 64 cents over the past two weeks zim before was sitting under seven dollars so it's had a run-up of roughly about 30 to 40 percent in the past two weeks that is pretty amazing now one thing i do think that correlates a lot with zim's stock price as you can see here over the let's say let's say over the last year time frame is the average global shipping index shipping rates so for the 40 foot container you could see here over the past year prices have been sliding and the same thing has been happening with zim when you see these little blips like we've seen in august here for example it kind of correlates to zim stock price as you can see close to august here there was a little bit of a blip up but it continued down and now that shipping prices are slowly starting to recover we might see a recovery as well in the price of zim so that's my first point secondly what i do want to talk about is kind of a little short squeeze that might be happening with zim now zim's stock price has been sliding for a while but there's there was an article released on seeking alpha and i can put the link to this in the description if you want to check it out for yourself matter of fact i will and it basically says like although we've seen like a short squeeze last week as the issues in uh, the santa's canal could help lift freight rates in the short term there's a zim is an israel shipping company they are based out of israel and there's kind of conflicts going on within the middle east that i'm sure you guys are aware of but that is greatly affecting shipping prices as I'm not sure if some shipping containers have been affected in terms like they have been affected by the war. They have been potentially bombed. I'm not sure. I don't want to say anything like that, but I have heard some stories. Not sure if they are true or not, but it's definitely putting a damper on the shipping industry and some stress on the shipping industry. And that could potentially lead to higher prices. Now, one thing I want to note is while volumes have marginally increased over the past few years when shipping had like a really big run up. The volumes weren't nearly as much because people weren't able to carry out as much because of COVID. But now that margins um, have increased in terms of volume, revenues are down 61%. And that's due to the fact that shipping prices have been sliding over that long period of time since they were up to almost $10,000 per 40 foot container ship. Now, just going on further down into the article here, it talks a lot about like zim during COVID and the numbers and we know the numbers were great but the the fact is zim is in fact up 30 percent over the past five days and i do believe it's due to the fact that container shipping prices have been going up over the past little while but i do believe as well there is some positives for zim and i will link this article down below so don't you worry about that you can check it out on your own time but one thing that's really going for Zim is in 2022, Zim acquired, it's on a 10-year marine LNG purchase agreement with Shell. And basically, this was to charter new LNG-powered 15,000 to 20-foot uh, equivalent TEU container ships to Zim. Now, one thing I do want to note is when you think of this 15,000 TEU container ship, you might think it's not the biggest ship and you might say, look, why are they doing LNG? Well, these are actually huge ships. And I, I brought it up just so you can get a an image this these are the kind of ships they got 27 or sorry let's see in their acquisition here it says they have 19 of these 15,000 these huge ships 
which are running on LNG, which is going to help save on costs for Zim. And they have 18 vessels that are basically half that size. Now, this is a great move by Zim because they're going to be more profitable in the future because they're going to be lowering their costs. Now, this goes, obviously, TEUs in Q 2023, uh, Q3 2023, we're at 867,000. So if we're taking even the smaller ships that zim had here if i can go back here so let's take what i did was take the 7700 teus and multiply it by the 27 i understand it's probably bigger because we have the 50 actually you know what let's just do it here quickly so we got 7700 times 18 which gives us to 138,000 teus plus i want to also add the other ships which are 19 ships at 15,000 teus so 19 times 15,000. And the reason I'm doing this is 273,000 TEUs, which would make up roughly a third to a quarter to a third of Zim's total shipping carrying volume is going to be saving on costs. And when looking at Zim's stock price, or not stock price, but their financials going into their cost of revenue. Their cost of revenue is high. So if we are able to bring this down, that is going to help Zim to become more profitable. You could see here that they were very, very close to becoming profitable in the past few quarters. This last quarter is kind of like a little blip in my position. They did have a huge net loss, but that is due to the depreciation that they announced on their ships. I definitely view their most their second previous quarter as kind of like the benchmark to hit so with a third we'll call it a third of their ships and a third of their carrying teu capacity going to become a little bit more cost effective and cost saving i think zim could potentially be profitable within the next quarter now that is not set in stone obviously that is just kind of like my prediction but if they are able to knock down 70 80 million in their potential shipping costs then that could reciprocate to their net income and create zim positive which they might potentially be able to then produce a dividend so that is something awesome to see for zim and yeah that is really my whole thesis around zim one thing i also do want to mention is their total cash i understand that with last year they did report that or sorry, in the last quarter, they did report a pretty substantial loss. But look at their total cash. Their total cash didn't depreciate. What did depreciate is their total assets because they priced in depreciation from old ships as they were bringing in new ones. And so that's why you see this big dip in the total assets. But when you look at the total cash, you can see the total cash from the previous second previous quarter to the very last quarter didn't take that much of a hit here. It didn't take that too billion dollar dip like we see in the total assets so that's something to look out for in zim which is actually a positive thing so i hope you guys did enjoy this video just wanted to make a quick video updating you guys on zim i only wanted to do this video when i thought i had sufficient enough information with obviously we have the world container index for the 40 foot container going up currently which is going to help the revenues of zim we also have zim acquiring a bunch of new ships which are going to make them a lot more fuel efficient and cost efficient going into the future zim still has this big cash position which they will use to help themselves in tough times so i'm not worried about them at all i currently hold about 26 shares of zim at a cost basis about 28 dollars. so i'm down big on my shares but i'm continuing to hold i'm not buying anymore currently but just due to the fact that they aren't paying a dividend at the current moment. When they do, maybe I'll look and reconsider a buying Zim, but right now I'm holding, that's what I'm doing with my shares. And then obviously we have the kind of conflicts that are happening within the Middle East could also spike our shipping index. So I'm gonna be watching this closely. I'll keep you guys updated if there's anything more with Zim. I hope you guys did enjoy this video and please do subscribe if you want any more updates like this or any new stock ideas. We come out with videos every day, so please do subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys take care.